Hi guys, Nick here with BitGalaxis bringing you a new Unity 3D video on angle calculations, locating objects in Unity 3D. And today I'm going to present you three different functions you can use to locate the angle of an object relative to our player in the world space. And the very first function we're going to talk about is vector3.angle. And what this function is, will do is give you the angle an unsigned angle, so it's always going to be positive, between 0 and 180 for the position or the angle of an from to a 2. And so that's the two arguments that it's going to take is from and to. And in our case, R2, so we're kind of reversing this here, is just going to be a transform dot up. But this could be transform dot right, transform dot forward or some other meaningful transform relative to us. You could use a vector 3 dot up if you're in the world space uh, but remember that transform dot up is going to be relative to us the player and vector 3 dot up is going to be relative to the world so you really want to avoid that especially if you're working in like space where you could be upside down so in my case I have transform dot up that is our that's what we're going to be using for our two vector and our from vector is just going to be a random vector uh, out there in space and just as a reminder a vector can be one of two things you can see it as just an array and with vector 3 it's an array of three floats and it could also be considered a line segment with a direction so one of those two things so when we put these dots out here we're actually saying that the transform dot up is a vector that goes from the origin to up and the trans and the other transform or the other position that we have is a vector three that has a little bit of x has a little y and a little z um, and so to kind of cover that again transform dot up straight up on the y axis and our second point is going to be over a little on x up a little on y and forward a little on z but in reality that vector is just this line segment in that direction so vector three dot angle again is going to calculate the angle and in this case we're just going to say for example that this is 45 degrees so you might say well that's not really 45 degrees i can tell it's not it's too too narrow but the first thing i'd point out is this isn't really to scale this is just to kind of give you some perspective but the second point would be that it may not look that way from our perspective because it's not finding the angle from y on the xy plane or y, the angle from y on the yz plane, it's finding it from the plane that both of these vectors are parallel on. So in this case, that plane has a specific angle and it's 45 degrees on that specific plane. So be very careful of that because naturally when we are looking forward and we say, I want something, I want to know if something is 45 degrees from up above us, we tend to think, well, if it's off of y because y goes up. But in reality, that's not the case because any of these circles in this example can be 45 degrees, any of these little dots going around the y-axis. So if it's as high as our, our from transform and it's equidistant from that y-axis, it's also going to be 45 degrees. Now, the same thing is true for any of these other orange circles or dots going around the y-axis so you can see we're actually looking at a cone here this cone would be 45 degrees so anything on this side anything on this side the same thing rings true if we're going forward it could be going forward up 45 degrees this way or up 45 degrees that way any of those dots so we could imagine just a cone that goes on forever and ever and ever they could all be 45 degrees so there's a lot of numbers that meet that but let's say that for some reason there is a dot on the xy plane that's going to be 90 degrees because anything on the xy plane is going to be perpendicular to the y axis so vector 3 dot angle how do we use this well let's say vector 3 we want to find our from and our from we actually need to reset things here because remember we're taking an object in space and we are also an object in space so to find our position or find the position or the angle of something relative to us we have to consider its position relative to our position in space. So we take the target's position minus transform position, our position. Then to get our two, we are just saying transform dot up. 
Now don't use vector 3.up because remember, if we're upside down, our transform.up can actually be a negative vector. So the vector 3.angle from 2 is how you would calculate that. Now I haven't given it to a variable. I just wanted to demonstrate in the simplest terms, this is how you vector 3.angle, this is how you call it. You have your from and then your to. Does it really matter? In our case, no. Uh, we, it's always going to be 45 degrees because even, even if we put the two and the from and swap them, we're going to get 45 degrees. And then note, again, very important to remember, vector3.up is not the same as transform.up. Avoid vector3.up. And if you see it in your code, try to get rid of it. So vector3.signed angle. So vector3.signed angle is a little bit different. It takes a from, it takes a two, and it also takes an axis. And the axis is the point with which the uh, angles all kind of rotate around. And what I mean by that is, let's say we put our axis as transform.forward. So this is plus Z. We're looking forward. What you can do is then say, all right, we start at zero on Y. Anything that's on the negative Y axis is going to be 180. So if it's going straight down, it's going to be 180. But then once we cross over that 180, around that axis, it becomes negative. So now once we get on the left-hand side of the Z, you know, Z axis, we are starting to go negative. And so that ends up being like a giant circle and everything in orange here would be negative. So, you know, we've got Y, maybe we hit like 45 degrees on the X, Y right here, and then 90, negative 145 as we go off the screen and then way below it's 180. And then over here it's negative 135, then negative 90, and also negative 45. And so what we see here is we kind of have a plane that splits them in half because even if we're going forwards or backwards a bit, those are also going to be negative. And so this whole plane here on this circle is also going to be negative 45. I kind of shaded it in and it's covering, but so negative 45 is any of these dots on this side of that plane. So you could imagine we're just cutting the sphere in half of all the angles and anything on the left is going to be negative, anything on the right is going to be positive, and nothing is greater than 180. 180 is the most you're going to get. So it is quite possible, for example, you'll be at 135. You know, you'll have a positive 135, and suddenly it switches to negative 135. And you're like, well, wait a minute, it didn't go through, you know, it didn't go all the way to 180 and come back around. Well, no, because if you're right behind something, and you're sort of like, you know, let's say you're 45 right here, but you're actually 45 degrees right here, and suddenly you flip and now you're negative 45. That's what's happening. So be aware of that. So the way we do vector 3 dot signed angle is, again, we just take our from, we get our target dot position minus our transform dot position. So again, we're subtracting ourselves. We're relative to our player. So we need to take our player's position out of the equation. Um, so we need to make it relative to us. Then we've got our vector 2, which is our transform dot up again. And then we have vector three dot signed angle where we're going from to, and then we're saying transform dot forward. So left of forward is going to be negative. And this can be kind of confusing because you may want to do this on any of the other, other axes. Just remember, you want to face the direction that you want to consider negative and positive. And anything that you're like, let's say you do transform dot up is your axis. Just remember, like if you say, um, X is the axis you want to compare it to or transform dot right and you want to look up then you're looking up you put your head at the X axis you kind of angle it at the X axis and anything on the left of X when looking up so in this case we put our head here we're looking up um, our left is going to be this so this will be negative and this will be positive so uh, be aware of that if you were to reverse this for example if we reversed our Z then it would be the opposite this side would be all be negative and this side would all be positive so finally, there's some potential confusion to talk about, which may happen, and this is something I mentioned right at the beginning of the video. Um, we want to consider 45 degrees from up. We don't really necessarily consider it forward. So in this you know, diagram I've got here, I've got the angle of 45 degrees, and it's going to touch the corner of this cube, right? But then also forward 45 degrees is going to touch that corner of the cube. So you might ask, well, what's the angle of this this corner of this cube here from the origin. And you might say, well, it's 45 degrees, right? Because this, this corner is, and this corner is, and obviously that's a corner that's, that's parallel to this one, right? 
Well, no, it's actually 54.73 degrees. Because if you think about it, the 45 degrees is actually a distant. These are equidistant points, and this point is actually out further. So the corner of this cube is pushing out both on the z-axis and on the x-axis one, and that ends up being about an extra, you know, nine degrees, nine point some odd degrees. So be careful about that. So we might also ask, well, what if I wanna know what it is on the xy plane? I wanna know the position of a vector relative to the xy plane. You probably will want to know this for a lot of good reasons. And so how do we find that out? So in this case, I've got my, we're going to go ahead and compare it to our vector 3 dot up. But I want to know in this case, this example, we want the location of the vector on the xy plane. What is the angle there? How do we get that? And the, the answer is we use vector 3 dot project on plane first. And so we don't even need the origin really. What we need is the vector itself. So we've got the, the, the from vector as we would call it, but we're not using it yet. We're not at that step. Then we need to find out, okay, we wanna find the angle there. Well, that's not gonna count because we want it on the XY plane and that's gonna be the XYZ all considered. So what we do next is we say project this. We wanna find the normal that we're going to use to make it parallel effectively and wherever that normal will intersect with the origin or a plane on the origin is where we're going to um, where we're going to mark it so for example here we're saying project this and our transform dot forward is our normal so actually what we're saying is i have this arrow pointing here that's actually going to be backwards i'm saying use z as the normal transform dot forward and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that point in space, which is one, 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 and we're gonna drag it back parallel to Z until it crosses over a plane that is perpendicular with Z at zero, zero, zero. So really all we need is transform dot forward and the vector location, that's it. And then boom, we can calculate our angle. And of course, now we know how to calculate that. We can use vector three dot angle or vector three dot signed angle and get the from from the projected vector. So here's how I would calculate this. I would say vector three projected vector equals vector three dot project on plane. This is our this is the function. This is the critical part. And remember our from we want our from. So we're going to say target dot position minus player dot position. So we're taking away our position. That's our from relative to us. And then we're saying the normal we want to make it parallel transform dot forward. So we're, we want to see Parallel to forward, where does this intersect at? And then we find the angle, we say x, y angle equals vector three dot signed angle. We use our projected vector as our from, our transform dot up for our two, and then our transform dot forward for the signed angle so that we, you know, if it's negative 45, it'll be negative. And that way you can use it for something like a turret, for example. Let's say that we're now using, instead of y being up, we're using z being the zero angle. You could put a turret on a ground and that, that ground could even be tilted, right? The ground could be 45 degrees because now we're projecting it to our vectors. And so you would say, all right, we've got a ship above us and it's at zero, zero, zero. And it might be, but it's, you know, let's say that you have a spaceship above a, a turret. The turret's gonna wanna look up. Well, remember, let's go back to our little presentation here where this was 54 degrees well if you take that position and you get an angle that says 54 degrees and your turret wants you know you've got a ship right here above you and you say well all right let's find the angle from z well guess what this angle is also 54.73 degrees from x and also 54.73 degrees from z and so we say well we want to turn 45 degrees or whatever the angle of this is. Well, if you've miscalculated, you're going to overshoot and you'll end up shooting this way instead of right off the corner. And then you want to find your angle up based on that. So it's good for turrets, for example, um, but probably lots of other functions. Um, and we'll find that out as I start coding the AI because the AI would be, you know, if we do our AI incorrectly, it's going to be off on the angles as well if we're not using projected vectors to find these things. So anyway, uh, so just to kind of recap, today we talked about vector 3 dot angle, vector 3 dot signed angle, and lastly, vector 3 dot project on plane to find it relative to the plane we actually want to be on. If you guys like this video, go ahead and hit like. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you next time.